Hi everyone, I'm Mandy. Welcome to Soup Book Recipes. Today we're making a hearty and so warming beef recipe, Suan Cai Dun Niu Rou. The meat is braised with pickled mustard green, which is truly the heart and soul of this recipe. It brings in a rustic charm and gives the beef a dominant fermented taste. I know it's new for many people who have never tried this ingredient, but trust me, you're gonna fall in love with its flavor. So let's get started by blanching the beef. I have got here a piece of beef chuck. Other tough cuts such as sirloin tip and shank will also work. This is beef femur bone. The marrow inside will give your soup a rich foundation. Add the beef and the bones to a stock pot and fill it with lots of water. Turn the heat to high. Partially cover the pot so the water doesn't overflow when it comes to a boil. Meanwhile, we can gather the aromatics and the spices. You will need one inch of ginger sliced thinly, three cloves of garlic, three scallions. I cut them into stalks and. Half of a purple onion, one cinnamon stick, two cloves, one teaspoon of black peppercorn, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, two tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorns, one slice of angelica root, or what we call bai zhi. Although it's optional, I strongly recommend using it because it has a complex aroma. It's like a mixture of earth, musk, pepper, celery, and citrus. The fragrance is so strong that one slice goes a long way. I'll link it in the description. You can check it out if you don't know where to buy it. Put everything into disposable spice bags so they don't float everywhere. Let's check back on the pot. The water is bubbling. Skim off all the scum by using a fine sieve. Transfer the beef and the bones into a new clean clay pot. Blanching is completely optional. I'm doing this just to get rid of the gamey, beefy flavor, so my soup will come out with a clean look and taste. Fill the clay pot with four to five cups of hot water, or enough to immerse all the ingredients. Add the spice bags. Turn the heat to high. Once it comes to a boil, switch the heat to low and let it simmer for two and a half hour. After two and a half hour of simmering, the meat should be tender. You can check with a chopstick. If you can poke through without resistance, you are good to go. Transfer all the beef onto the cutting board. And leave the broth behind. Dice the meat into bite-sized pieces. Be careful; it's very hot. The femur bone usually has some cartilage attached. I like to eat those too. Discard the bones and the spice bags. Make sure you squeeze the broth out. Put all the beef meat back into the clay pot. And set it aside. Now let's prepare the pickled mustard green. You should be able to buy it in almost any Asian market. Just look into the aisle of packaged or canned vegetables. I'll link it in the description as well. You can check it out if you want to purchase it online. For those of you who don't have access to buy it, you can use sauerkraut as a replacement. You just need to add one more tablespoon of soy sauce in addition because sauerkraut is slightly less salty compared to the Chinese pickled mustard green. I like to quickly rinse the suan cai and squeeze the water out to reduce its sodium level because I always felt that the store-bought pickled mustard green is extra salty. Of course, it depends on the brand. You can always taste yours before cooking. Besides that, I also prepared one inch of ginger, sliced thinly, two shallots. I quartered them, six cloves of garlic, 
which I cut them in halves. Five Thai bird eye chilies. I roughly diced them. A few dried red chilies. I cut them into short pieces. If you don't eat spicy food, you can reduce the chili amount. Heat the wok over medium heat and add oil. Toss in the ginger, garlic, shallot, Thai bird eye chilies, dried red chilies, and one tablespoon of Sichuan dou ban jiang. Stir for a couple of minutes. Soon, you will see that everything is covered with a beautiful red color. That means the flavor of the Sichuan dou ban jiang is maximized. Add the pickled mustard green and switch the heat to high and keep stirring for a few minutes to activate the umami flavor. Season it with one tablespoon of oyster sauce and one tablespoon of soy sauce. When you add the soy sauce, drizzle it from the side of the wok. The heat will help to create a complex aroma. As I mentioned before, if you use sauerkraut as a replacement, you will have to use two tablespoons of soy sauce instead of one. Last, pour in the beef along with all the broth. Bring it to a simmer and let it cook for 10 minutes so everything can mingle together. We don't want to braise the mustard green for too long though, otherwise you will lose the crunchy texture. And we are done! Look at that! Who can resist a bowl of steaming beef soup? Nothing can be more satisfying than biting into chunks of tender meat. <laughs> you gotta enjoy the broth because the pickled mustard green made it really special. Wow, that is delicious. <laughs> you know what will make it even more delightful? Noodles. They complement the rich broth perfectly. I can eat this every single day. This is a great recipe for a cold rainy day. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable recipe link is in the description. Go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more easy and authentic Chinese food. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!